Hey guys, how we doing? Welcome into another video. I know I'm a little bit late with this Vidoc part one. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to film it on the day. So now we're going to watch it. We're going to react to it. I've got Shin here sort of watching with me. He's probably watching intently because he does like the, computer, uh, does like the uh, videos. But yeah, if you like this kind of content, guys, please do leave a like. Subscribe for more content like this because I've got a lot more coming uh, planned or at least planned for the uh, final shape. So yeah, keep an eye on the channel. Uh, but other than that, let's get into it. Let's watch uh, this Vidoc and uh, see what it's got in town. So, what we got? Is this the new game director? Oh. Am I going to sound? Resident I'm not. Four. Hold on. Let's rewind it. <laughs> it's not a Logan video back. about being uh, muted. There's a line that emerged in Destiny 1 that wasn't planned for, but it was very deliberate by the person who put it in the game. And I, it was very resonant I, for I, Destiny players. D1. And resonant D1, for me man. as a person. And that line is, Start Guardians off this make journey. their own fate. We got to do make our own fate. That still gives this me is like nostalgia vibes, man. For me, that has sort of become a, a touch point for the Destiny story. Again and again, external forces come and try to impose a fate you. upon you We'd and humanity. We're going to get that as a shit. And again and again, you show them that they can't do that. We make our own fate. That's not just a powerful theme of Destiny, it's also a powerful theme for us as people, as both developers and as humanity. We make our own fate. Damn, that's deep. <laughs> what a way to start it was with that being when so you're talking deep, about um, 10 years of story, there's a lot of stuff crammed in there, and there's a lot of things that we could do and could talk about. But as storytellers, the hardest part isn't coming up with the ideas, it's knowing which ones are the important ones. We want to tell a story that makes you Was that you, mission the one to seven feel. redacted? Like, all of that time that you invested, we saw you, and we want to give you the experience that you've been waiting for. We looked at everything we had, we laid Every it all out, uh, like whiteboards and like <laughs> everything. everything. We blurred out as well. We were trying to look for <laughs> a theme that felt yeah. resonant, not just for this story, but for destiny as a whole. There's going to be someone that goes through all of that. the thing that we kept coming back to was purpose and fate. And that's oh, what this story is about. Not just for ourselves as the player, but also for our characters. I used to think I'd give anything to bring you back. I cried quite a few times doing those scripts. I've got to say, I, I his it with voice as Zavala Every time I opened a will script, never I was like, what would I want to Redri see? Uh, what Redrick, would I want to hear? But you get to see hey, the emotional good. journey, the struggle of how do we defeat the witness? The witness sees itself as the one true god. So it's come to the traveler because it needs the power of the traveler's light to finish this vision. Its goal is salvation. Why don't you want that? Be reborn. Is Our mission weird? is to <laughs> make sure that we can prevent <laughs> it from weird. getting the light, the thing that it needs, in order to make it all happen. It's finally confronted the traveler, and that? here we are, thorns in its side, a blip on its radar, trying to make a difference. You're gonna speak to the witness, and the witness is gonna shine a light on some things, and you wonder, like, what would it be like? What, what would it be like to be a disciple of the witness? Your guardian's use has yet to be determined. Oh, that's, that's the only manner. need of a god killer. Banner. Every time you hear the witness, you're not just hearing one voice, Sigil? you're hearing whispers in the background, you're hearing all of these other textures. You're still resisting. You can feel a subtext sometimes where the real witness comes through, or at least things that it doesn't want you to know about it come through. There is only suffering! Putting characters into pressure cookers is what storytellers do best. And I can't imagine a more intense pressure cooker than it's the end of the world. If we fail, universe, everything is frozen more, forever more and only we can do it. It's just the handful of us inside of a god. I gotta say, the space, the pale heart, looks so good. 
There were a couple like, there's just so much going on when we started on the Phil Hart. The two main ones that I remember were Surreal and Shattered to Spire. Seeing how they put a tiny little guardian at the beginning of this vast journey that's spreading out in front of you. Is it going to be like follow the really uh, wizard boss, follow the end? The scale end. that we needed to follow hit in order to end. make the pale heart look and feel dangerous and ambitious and vast. When we were thinking of surreal things, it was a bit of a challenge because how do you make something surreal? There's so many faces For me is everywhere. putting familiar things out of context. What is the what thing when like you turn all... the corner that you <laughs> are not expecting? So that's when we play with scale, we play with unexpected things, repetition. There's this awesome piece of concept oh art that is like up. this massive ghost in the horizon. And you just like go over there and it's just like broken down in the middle. And it's just weird in a well, way that is rusher, unsettling, but at the same time feels very visceral. Another one that we used was body parts. And it sounds a bit strange because <laughs> we didn't want to do body horror. So I was taking screenshots from the game and just trying to find silhouettes and things that would look surreal. And I start replacing all the trees with hands. So all the limbs were made out of fingers coming out and eyes were on the floor. And I do remember our direction was like that, like more hands. Are there hands holding up the freeway in which we were born? Yes. <laughs> You'll recognize it instantly and then almost as quickly, you'll realize you've never been here before. I definitely like, feel like there's some aspects something with one of hand the and then the other hand shows you something completely really different. Weird it's like, but they're the same thing. It's so I want to take that risk. Area. I want to push a so little cool. bit of what expectations of a destination can be. And I hope that players love that. As players progress, they get to see more influence of the witness, not just on the traveler, but also on the races that it's interacted with that we've seen so far. The dread are a result These of are the some witness cool looking experimenting edits. with the light. So while it's inside the Pale Heart, it's able to access the light as it's trying to siphon it. It is using that light to create and alter new and different combatants. And flying enemies. And so we've encountered so some oh, of cool. these members before. Annoying. Now we have a name for them. 100% annoying. The new dread units. They're using a new language, collaborating with narrative. We went through and used this constructed language tool to generate different phrases and figure out like grammar structures and, and other things. The pyramid language that the new uh, dread units speak is actually translatable. So players, if they're really interested in figuring out what the, the pyramid units are saying, could decipher these. Kos yen it get, baktoku vakad. No pyramid the husks language. are an interesting addition to Destiny because you've never fought anything like them before. We talked about, oh yeah, they need some big weapons. Like, it needs to look like this thing is serious business. They wanted a bit of a secondary unit on it, so like a two-in-one. As the sketches were progressing, we, we were kind of like, oh, this feels like it's sentient. And we just loved the idea. We had all these different sound effects in our library of water bladders that make some really cool sounds when you're shaken. We used some sounds of slapping jello too. So that was kind of the foundation for the husk. We have all these real physical sounds that come together and feels like an alien moving around in the stomach of this thing. The Freaking collaboration jello, between the different disciplines and the trust. That's, that's the call out I'm giving for At the end, it comes jello out on the left. <laughs> anybody could have made individually. Did you kill the main one and then that? That thing happens. There's a moment where you realize, looking at the final shape, that it's not just a story about the Guardian's journey. It's also kind of the story of Destiny's journey. It starts in a place of uncertainty and challenge, and then it changes and evolves, and it proceeds forward into the unknown. So and as you get closer to the final shape, those two experiences converge. We know where we're going. We know where we're aiming for. I feel very confident about the love and the work and the thoughtfulness that everyone working on this release put into it. And I think it's inevitable that when people start going in and experiencing all these different things that make up this expansion, I think they're gonna see it. I won't lose another soldier in this war. 
Did you just boot a squeeb in the air? Was that just me? Was that a squeeb he just booted? <laughs> Alright, we'll that ship at the end. Damn. Damn. That's that's opened up a lot, that has. That's opened up a lot. Oh, I can't wait now. We're, we're just over a week away, and I'm so excited for the final shape. Guys, if you are excited for the final shape, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you think of it so far and how excited you actually are, because I, I know I am. <laughs> so please do leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more like this. Um, if you haven't already, I'm going to also do a part two of this because of course the viaduct for part two dropped today of recording this so we're going to give that a little bit of a watch but other than that guys till next time peace